Hello, guys. I'm your math teacher Tao. Today, I'm going to share with you how to find the radius of a circle by using decimals. For those of you who are still struggling with using completing the square to find the radius, this is going to save your life. For example, if I have this equation and we are looking for the radius of the circle, you don't have to complete the square. All you have to do is input the whole equation into decimals, and you will see. A circle will pop on the screen.、Uh, there are a lot of points on the circle. For example, the x-intercepts, the y-intercepts. But these points are not what we're gonna use to find the radius. We're gonna use the highest point and the lowest point. So always make sure that you, you you're finding these two points.、Uh, if we connect these two points, that will be the diameter of the circle, right? So the radius will be half the length of this diameter. So how to find the length of the diameter?、Uh, all we need to do is copy these two y values of the、uh, highest point and lowest point.、Um, subtract the y value from the highest point、uh, by the y value of the lowest point. Let's see what we can get. Okay, we get 12.16552. That's the length for the diameter. So if we divide it by two, then that would be the radius, right? Okay, let's copy this as well and divide that by two. We get 6.08276, and that is the length for the radius. Let's go back to the choices.、Uh, unfortunately, the four choices are given in radical form, but no worries. If we input the choices into a decimal,、uh, we can convert them into decimal form. After you go over the four choices, you notice that choice C, which is root 37, is the correct answer. Let me show you.、Um, root 37. You see, if it is converted into decimal form, it's、uh, also 6.08 something. Which is、um, very close to our radius, and that is the answer for、uh, the radius. Okay, so this is all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.